Good evening, everyone. This is a recording for the multidimensional um, analysis exercise that's due Thursday. Uh, the very first step that you will do is to download the software. So uh, under the announcement page, it says to go to the worker.cob.csu.chico, enter SAP as the user ID and SAP GUI for me for the password and download uh, SAP business object. So let's do these steps real quick. And that will take you to this page and you will need to download um, SAP business objects analysis. If you have time, you may want also to download um, the Crystal Dashboard Design and the Crystal Reports. I'm not sure if we will have time for the Crystal Reports, but for sure you will need uh, to download Crystal Dashboard for the project and for the couple of assignments that we have uh, next. Once you download the business objects, what you will see is a folder SBOP analysis and it actually opens as a zip, it downloads as a zip file so you will double click on the zip file and you will extract all files when you extract them that will create another folder and um, that folder is SBOP analysis 1.4 and there are two files in there the two files are for um, systems that are 32-bit or 64-bit. The first one, as you can see here, is 32. The second is 64. How do you know which system do you have? You will have to go to your computer and click on System Properties. And in there, it tells you whether it is a 32-bit or a 64-bit. Mine, as you can see, is 32. So it all depends upon uh, your system. So now that I know that mine is 32, I'm gonna I'm gonna double click the first um, executive uh, executable file, which is the exe stands for execute. So after you down after you um, you actually run the executable you should be able to see now under your old programs an sap business intelligence which is right above the sap front end now before you can actually um, do the multi-dimensional uh, reporting exercise and analysis you will have to go to your normal sap logon And you will have to create manually, even if you see Belfast, you will still have to create manually a connection to it because the business objects does not see the ones that you automatically download from the SAP site. So you will right click on connections, click on add new entry, and you will put any description that you want like Uh, I've called mine business objects analysis application server is Belfast dot COB and COB stands for College of Business CSU Chico dot edu that's the server that has the application your instance number is 90 and your system ID is Bell all capital and you will hit next, next, and finish. But since I have already created several of them, I'll just like cancel out. So you should see a connection now that has the same name as the one that you typed in. Now, once we did do that, we will close. And now we are ready to do to start the exercise. So I'm going to go under all programs. 
my um, I'll go to SAP Business Intelligence and Analysis for Microsoft Excel. And you can see that the software that op opens is exactly the same uh, as Excel. The only thing that you have an add-in now called Analysis. So if you click on Analysis, you should be able to see the insert and click on it. And because I've already connected, I have uh, I have access to my previous or the the queries that I accessed before. But for you guys, if this is the first time, you will click on Select Data Source and you will click on Connections. And you will see now the, the, the connection that you just created in SAP. The SAP front end, uh, the logon screen that we did just a second uh, ago. So you should see that connection that you created. So I'm going to click on one. And it tells me, um, for you guys, if this is the first time, you will see another... Uh, another uh, window that opens and that um, is asking you to connect to SAP Business Objects and all you have to do before this window is to click on skip and, and you do it the very first time and after that it won't ask you again. Um, so you will skip and then you will see this particular uh, window. And now your client as we said is 800. Your, your um, user ID is TSU dash and then the same last three digits that you have for GBI and if this is the first time that you are connecting the password is SAP for the number four US and it's all capital all capitalized and that's the if it is the first time if it's not the first time that means that you have already been asked to change the password and whatever password you have uh, selected you will need to type in okay now when you log on you will see uh, select data source and you'll need to go under folders and click under role bi curriculum and um, this w when we first did the exercise in class the first query was not working, but now they have fixed it, so it's working fine. And this is what you see when you open um, the, the query. So that's the report that's generated. If you remember, we have gone through an exercise of creating a query. So when you run that query, you see a report, and that's the report that we have based on the design that we created. According to the design here, we can see that I have calendar year as the year and country as the column. And I have some measures. And right now, according to the view, I have revenue. But other measures exist, like cost of goods and net sales and discount and sales quantity. I also can drill down by calendar year month. So if I want to um, create more details, I will uh, add the month to the rows. And um, I can see I have country, I have customer, I have division, material, product category, and sales organization. Right now, they are three characteristics. I'm, I'm not adding them um, to the design or to the view. But we will see how we can um, manipulate that. Now, um, for you to start the assignment, you will go under the Assignments tab. And this is the multidimensional reporting exercise. So you will download the PDF file right here. And we already have done all of these steps. 
and now we can see uh, the actual query the report from the query and the first thing it tells you is why do we see asterisks in the table so looking at the table I can see that the overall result has asterisks and that's because I have two countries in there Germany and the United States and one is using a euro the other one is using a dollar so um, it's difficult to add both and that's why you see these asterisks uh, the second thing I have I have two computers so I don't want like to uh, keep on alternating between the two so let's see what we have next now they want you to swap the view uh, so instead of seeing calendar as the rows and country as the columns they want you to swap the rows and the columns you know that this is also possible in 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 excel so but in um, in sap business objects it's really much easier because all you have to do is just like drag year under the columns and then take country under the rows and you see everything now my my view um, is different I have the year as the columns and it shows still the asterisks because I cannot add both the the euro and the dollar at the same time okay Now, before, before we go into the second exercise, they say, look at what the performance of each country. So in, um, in 2007, we see Germany have um, realized the revenue of 22 million, 2008, 23 million, 2009, 23 million, 2010, 25 million, 2011, 26 million. So there is a steady increase in revenue. Now, looking at the United States, we see that I had a good revenue in um, 2007, it was 29 bill, uh, million, but went down to 27 million in 2008, dipped really um, down in 2009, then I started recovering in 2010, slight recovery in 2010, 2011. Of course, we all know what happened in 2008 and 2009 and that's the recession and it did not hit Europe at the same time I think the rippling effect of what happened in the US took several years uh, to see its effect uh, in Europe so but Germany actually was not really affected and, and uh, the German uh, economy is very well known to be a very uh, strong and, and um, sound economy so that's why you see you continue to see increase in revenue despite of the recession uh, that hit the whole world okay now uh, i was thinking instead of creating actually the, the 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 word document you can create a copy of these sheets and name them so i can um, hit a control and uh, drag to the right and that will, will create a copy of this sheet and I will call it Q1 the same thing like you did with the pivot table exercise and then going back to the sheet one so sheet one is your original and you as, as you answer each question you will um, create a new sheet and but leave sheet one as your base so now I want to just look at Germany. I, I, uh, I'm interested. I'm in Germany and I want like to get more details about what's going in Germany. So I'm going to go under country and I will say filter by member, meaning that I want to filter out uh, some members of the country 
which means some instances. So if I have like, for example, 10 companies, I may only focus on three, the ones that are in Europe, or um, I may want like to focus on just one because I'm working in that country. So uh, clicking on filter by member will give me all of the members. Right now I only have Germany and the US. So I'm gonna select only Germany. And now you see that what you see is, is just Germany, the revenue from Germany, and you have um, everything in Euro. So your overall result now shows. It's no longer the asterisk that you saw before. And of course, we had that view. So we, 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 sh we, saw, we saw how the how Germany was doing compared to the US and that there was a standard increase. So now I want to see more details regarding um, Germany. I want to see my sales organizations. And these are like my main um, headquarters or main uh, subsidiaries in, in Germany. So I'm going to move. Germany to the background filter right here and I will say show me now my sales organization under rows and now I can see Germany North and Germany South and I can compare them so I, I know that in 2007 Germany North is doing better actually uh, throughout the years, the North is doing better than the South. So I have better revenue in the North. And that could be either because of the geographical dispersion of, uh, of the North, that I have more space or more coverage of my services in the North, or it could be that ma the markets over there are, are better. So again, we are going to create a view of that uh, of that sheet by hitting the control key holding it down and dragging the sheet to the right and now I'm gonna call it Q2 then I'll go back to the sheet one and I want more detail so um, I want to see the actual customers that I'm selling to in the north and in the south. So I'm going to drag customer under the sales organization. And now I see that in the north, here are my customers. And I can see for each one um, how much I am selling or gener generating revenue from each. And these are my customers again in the south. Okay, so that's uh, regarding the the uh, like looking at the performance of the sales organizations and the customer. If you don't want to the sales organization, just you want to focus on the customers, then you will drag sales organization to the left, and that will take it out from the table. So you only see now your your customers but you are not able to tell whether they are in the north or in the south now if i want to sort in descending order so that i see who are my most valuable customers i can see that the bavarian bike is actually uh, one that adds a lot of revenue to me. I can see that over overall over the the five year period they actually contributed twenty three uh, million of my total revenue. So let's create that um, copy of that sheet and again as I said hold the control key down and drag the sheet to the right and we'll call that Q3. Now, um, 
we are interested to see the products instead of the customers. So what, which products are more profitable in terms of selling? So I'm going to take the customer out. And I'm going to put the product category in there. And I can see I have accessories that I sell. I have e-bikes. I have the off-road bikes, the road bikes, the touring bikes, and the trend bikes. And as you always can see, the e-bikes were introduced in 2010. So I wasn't selling e-bikes in 2007, 8, or 9. And if I want uh, more details to find exactly what am I selling, the specific uh, brand or a specific material that I'm selling, I'm going to add the material to the uh, to the view. So now under accessories, I know I have air pumps, the elbow pads, the first aid kit, knees pad. These are the actual products that I sell under the category accessories. So for the e-bike, I know I only have one brand, that's the e-bike um, Tailwind. And then for the off-road bikes, you have several of them, the road bikes, the touring bikes, and so on. So again, let's create a copy. Call it Q4. So when you choose that compact uh, display in rows, what it does is that it allows you to either expand or um, um, for, like roll up the table. And you see these pl plus signs, so when you click on one, you can expand that, that category only or um, reduce it. So again... Um, you will um, will create a view of it and call it Q4 again, but you Q4B maybe. So control. So I want to see um, now how, because I only introduced the e-bike in 2010 and 2000, in 2010, so I didn't have anything to compare it with um, in 2007 through 2009. We want to filter for 2010 and 11. So I'm going to choose these two years and I will uh, filter. Hmm. 
and it could be because um let's see do i do it for q4 It's saying it's only showing 2010 and 2011, but I can see everything. So. I'm going to save the book right now as multi-dimensional. Reporting, and I will add my last name. And I'm going to close it and see if I can um, open it. I, actually, I'm going to close the recording now and uh, look at it and then come back to you after I've solved that problem.